There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Now the 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. Malone looking for his first hit of the year. Oh. He drives one. Deep left field. Back goes Upton. Back near the wall. It's out of here. <laughs> Bartolo has done it. The impossible has happened. This is one of the great moments in the history of baseball. Bartolo Colon has gone deep. Garcia Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight it's the first of four between the St. Louis Cardinals and the New York Mets. Mets baseball starts right now. Steven Matz gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, first things first, Matt. Check out that ERA. Under three, he's having a nice season. He's not going to blow you away with unreasonable gaudy numbers, but anytime you're under three, you're having a really solid season. If he's able to execute his pitches, he may walk out of here with a win today. And that'll bring up a lead Miss Diaz. The average on the season sits right at 290 to begin the day. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time, two and two. 73 degrees, our game time temperature here tonight, and it probably won't get a whole lot cooler than that. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Two and two count, here it comes. And another foul ball. Now another two two. Rip down the first base line, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Yeah, you know, you have to be really careful with Daddy Longlegs himself, Dexter Fowler. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Here's Dexter Fowler now. And the average isn't pretty down into the roaring 220s to begin the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a hard hit ball, and it's going to get over the head of Ray as it's short. It's a base hit. Well, you ever talk about a much needed base hit? That's it right there. Johnny He's Curry. been struggling all year. That was much Matt needed. Put Mark a smile Mendo. on his face. Digging in now, Matt Carpenter and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it into the dirt and turn one over for you. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Randall Gritcher. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. 
Another Nine hit ten. in the inning. The second right runner on base. Now, look, Even you have to get Scott. to this guy early before he settles in and executes all his pitches. This could be the main inning of the game right here. Into the box now. Steven Piscotti turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Cards strand a couple. Cardinals zero. Mets coming to bat. It's a rematch of the 2006 NLCS and it's on the show. Adam Wainwright is on the mound for the Cardinals. What's your take on him, H? Well, I look at his stat line, Matt. I look at his whip, and it's just above league average, and that tells me he struggles just a little bit this year. If he can keep runners off the base paths and not pile up a lot more than maybe the one or a little bit above an inning, then he's got a chance to win. So keeping the traffic limited is the key to his success in this game. So striding forward now, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Wainwright ready. The 1-1. One, one. Up in the zone for him. And he takes a cold strike two. And a swing by Reyes as this is hit on the ground out to second. On to first is Peralta. One away here. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins Mets starting lineup in this one. HR what's the key in trying to stop their opponents winning streak. Matt this is a team after my heart. They lead the league in stolen bases. Look out. They're going to come at you running. They're going to run the first if they walk. They're going to steal second if it's sitting out there. They just run. I'm excited to watch them play. Into the box David Wright. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And Harold, we take a look at the Cardinals entering play here tonight. They come in riding a five game winning streak and they've really got things clicking. And Matt, the other thing, both teams are on a winning streak right now. I love watching good baseball. So nothing's better than watching two teams that are on a winning streak collide. So we're going to get some good baseball hopefully in this game. Bases are empty, one man out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gritchick has it in his tracks and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting third. Here's left the left fielder, Yoannis Espedes. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Into the box now Jed Jerko will lead it off against Steven Matz. From the windup the one one pitch. And he well, just misses a with a curveball. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They're on a great run of late as they come in winners of seven of their last nine games. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? No, a little too much hook on it there. It's a foul ball. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the outfield, Joanna Cespedes, this guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. It seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Here's Johnny Peralta now. 
It's been a rough go for him at the plate as he enters this one with a season average in the 230s. Hit sharply on the ground. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. Well, he's been inconsistent at the plate. The expectations were higher. He's fallen under 240, so that is a welcome single Eric right there. Pryor. In now, Eric Fryer. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. No score here as we play inning number two. Swinging a soft liner. And that'll get down for a base hit. Two strike hitting. Man, you love it when guys are able to fight the ball off nice. and get a hit. Right Little here, he fights it 50. off and flips it and over the middle infielder's head. Stepping in now, Adam Wainwright. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. The two and one on its way. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. First and second now, one man out. A line shot to third base. Throw to the bag, and the runner's back in time. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Aledmus Diaz. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Well, he's got himself in a little bit of a jam, but I tell you what, he does as good a job as anybody. First and second, two outs. Now watch out. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Cards strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. At the plate, Michael Conforto. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. And now pitch on the way. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. In there, and it's even now, 2-2. Two and two. Set to deal on 2-2. Two and two. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And Peralta's throw is in time for route number one. All right, here's how the cards line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Randall Gritchett. You know, for a guy his size, he can motor. He can cover the ground in the outfield, and he's got a strong enough arm. You can play him in right, left, or center. Now with the plate, Wilmer Flores. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Bottom of the second here with no score. One, two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. A swinging bunt to the mound. Throw on to first, and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Striding forward, Lucas Duda, and he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Seven. Here's Jay right. Bruce now. His career line hey. against Wainwright, 12 Ooh. hits in 41 ABs. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Get it out of here. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Let him walk you. 
the three two one more time hit hard on the ground a second oh, and he has some trouble with it. Stepping up to the plate, Rene Rivera. He brings a batting average just south of 320 into this one. A big lead off a second. Now the pitch. Called strike, and he's behind one and two. That pitch right there just locked him up. A curveball that doesn't break. A little front door curveball. You're looking for it to go back out over the plate, and it doesn't. It just locks you up as a hitter. Now a look and a throw back to second. Two men are on with two men out. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Spin and a throw back to second. Here's another one too. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Two down runners at first and second. Curveball bounces and this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both in the scoring position. Line drive to left. Gritchick is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. We play two full, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Digging in to try it again, Dexter Fowler. He singled his last time up. Misses, ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Heading for second now is Fowler. And he will make it there as the Cardinals get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. Batting. Everyone knows First that this guy's point. numbers are Matt. not where he wants them Carpenter. to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here's Matt Carpenter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. Now a swing and a miss at the hard sinker, and they're back to even two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And the run will score as the Cardinals are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Back to back doubles now, and that's a Up great way Cardinals. to get an inning going. Left the leadoff fielder. man shows him Randall how it's done, Richard. and he comes right behind him following suit, lacing a double of his own. Could be a big inning if this continues. Standing in now, Rendell Gritcher. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. Well, now that's a line drive single, right but the field, runner's man. not going to score. Now, remember, with less than two outs, he had to freeze. Hit it a little bit too hard at the wrong guy. He'll take the hit, but no RBI. Into the box now, Stephen Piscotti. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. 
Here's Jer yeah, Jerko now. Three. 0 for 1 for Jen him here in this one. Jerko. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Inside and low. 2 and 1. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. First and second here with nobody out. Again, he sends it out of play. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. He's got it, and he indeed takes only the out at first as the runners move to second and third with one away now. Now batting. Second base. Digging in for his second Johnny at bat, Peralta. Johnny Peralta. One for one after a single this first time up. Now the 1-1 one, one to Peralta. There's that heavy sinker for strike number two. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Striding in once again, Eric Fryer. He reached on a single in Eric his first try. Fryer. Hit hard up the middle. Flores has it. Reyes back to Duda. A double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Settling in now, Stephen Matz. He'll be in there to start things out against Adam Wainwright. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. To third. There is Jerko. No problem here, one away. At shortstop, number seven. So with Jose one gone, a reminder that New York Reyes. Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One -one. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll get on through in the center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Runners on first with one down. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it's not in time, so Reyes has himself a stolen base. It's a little surprising to see them risking base runners by stealing down this many early in the game, but they're choosing to be aggressive. Might work out if they can drive him in now and chip away at that deficit. Now a pickoff play at second, and he'll be back in standing up. That's in there. Base hit. Reyes rounds third and is digging for the plate. And the run is in to score from second. Here's Juana Cespedes. One Cespedes. in, one out, and Cespedes. one on here in the inner. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Good job by the catcher to keep the ball from getting too far away and allowing that base runner to get into scoring position. That keeps the double play in order, which they need, seeing as they've already given up one run in this inning. Not in time as he steals second. So he's in safely there following the one-out steal of second. And with that, we take you to our team leaderboard to display the clubs with the most stolen bases so far this year. And you can see that the Mets are currently best in the senior circuit in that category. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. 
Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. In the dirt here. Payoff pitch on its way. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Wow, you know he's not happy with that call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. A throw behind the runner at second, and he's back standing. In now, Michael Conforto. But he won't have an opportunity to throw either man out. It's ball four, and the bases are suddenly loaded now with only one away. Well, it's obvious he wanted absolutely no part of the three or four hole hitters. But he's got to focus here because this kind of five hole is just as dangerous. Here's the one and one pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout, or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're back, one run is scored. And the run is in to score from second. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Well, that's a cutter cutting away from him. He hit that just like it was a whole slider or a curveball. He stayed on it and drove it to the opposite field. Into the box, Lucas Duda. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Hit hard to the right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And a good throw is going to hold that runner at third. So they're loaded now with only one away. So he tried to go back to back curveballs. The first one he fouled off and should have recognized he was on it. The next one, he didn't miss it for the base hit. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that is through into center field. The base hit. One run scores. And the throw's going to hold that second runner over at third, so they'll just play the one here. Catcher, Rene Rivera. get the bullpen started here as a right hander is up and warming standing in now Rene Rivera and that pitch catches the inside corner taking all the way there and a walk could be huge here so I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the bat on his shoulder again on the next pitch sent out to straightaway center field Fowler will make the play tagging is the runner from third and a relay to the plate. And the runs in to score on the sacrifice fly as that will break the tie and make it a 5-4 to four ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Ready for another chance? Steven Matz. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Here's a look over to first, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Ready with the one and one. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Obviously, he wants to help himself out right here. With two strikes, that's going to be difficult to do. Let's see if he can put the ball in play. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Gritchick on the move. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. All in all, ten men come to the plate and five score. Three innings complete. The Mets are out on top, five to four.
Now at the plate, Adam Wainwright. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. And it looks now like a right-hander has begun to get loose in the Mets' bullpen. In for strike two. Been a real big struggle for him so far on the mound. Four runs and only three innings, so it'll be interesting to see if he can settle in at all and make some adjustments or if this start will continue to run downhill. Well, that's how the game's played sometimes. If you help yourself out, he's not throwing real well right now. So maybe this is going to earn him an opportunity to go back out there and stay longer in the game, maybe get it together on the mound as well. In now, Aledmus Diaz. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. The one and two pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Well, this isn't how he wanted to start the inning. A leadoff single, and then you almost hit the next hitter. Composure. Got to try to get that ball to the plate and maybe get a ground ball. Four runs, ten hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. The second for one. On to first, and it's a double play. The second they've hit into in these first four innings, and there are two away now. Fowler. Digging in and looking for more, Dexter Fowler. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. One and one, here it comes. Swing and a line drive. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. One two pitch coming to Fowler. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Redbirds down quietly, and the deficit holds at five to four. Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. He's one for two in the ball game. Wainwright ready, the one-one. Yeah. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But, man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. This is pulled into right, but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. David. Ready once again, David Wright. One for two on his line so far in the game. All even at two and two. Here it is tapped up the third base line and they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely well there's a one out infield single and you know what you can start a lot of rallies with one out he was hustling down the line if you pinch him you think golly that was so unlucky ready for another shot now Joanna Cespedes comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game skied into straightaway right Piscotti's there for it Two gone. <laughs> Digging in, Michael oh, Conforto. Oh, for one good. with a run scored Michael thus far. Conforto. Hit hard to the right side. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Well, another hit. We talk about a pitcher who threw well and got a win well, in his I last start. Four, Total baseman, opposite right here. He hasn't Wilmer. thrown the ball very well. Right. They've been hitting him pretty good. And at the moment, he stands to be the guy that's going to get the loss. Into the box, Wilmer Flores takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as the TCU product Matt Carpenter is the first to bat in the inning. Uh, no leadoff walk just yet as that finds the strike zone and the count comes full at three and two. Now that's not fair. Hey, you're supposed to be throwing sinkers and he throws a high fastball right there. That's why everybody's shaking their head. Slice down the left side but foul. Another full count pitch home. Chopped weakly to the left. There to get it is right. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. Offense apparently not hard to come by tonight as you get a look at our line score through the first half of the ball game and boy the runs have been coming fast and furious so far. Into the box now Rendell Gritchett two base hits both singles to this point. Four runs ten hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Again a nice clean base hit is third of the game. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Well, he hung that one, and he didn't miss now it. That's what you do. Right hang it and bang it. Stepping in now, Stephen Piscotti. On a line to shortstop. And it got there so quickly the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settle with just the one out. Third baseman. Here's Jed three. Jerko now. As Jed. he'll look to bring Jerko. home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. The 2 2 pitch. Strike three called, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals. Still down a run. It's 5 to 4. Alex Reyes is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Alex Reyes. Here's Lucas Duda now. It was a single for him in his last at bat. And now the Cardinals get the bullpen working here. Both a lefty and a right-hander have stood up. Here's the one-and-one one delivery. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball two-and-one. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But, hey, that's the life of an umpire. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. A swing, and he pulls it down the line and deep. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The right fielder number 19. Shay. Here's Jay Bruce now. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. This is hit well out toward left field. Gritchick ranging back, but he won't get there. It falls in. The throw into second. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one out double. Up next for the Mets. Stepping in, Rene Rivera. He hit a sack fly earlier. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. That's a ball. And it misses three and one now. Well, I don't know how he missed that pitch. That ball's in the zone a long time, but he missed it. I guess that happens. Oh. 
And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch for the was really good. Catcher. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Chris Granderson will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Runners are at first and second with one away. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Granderson waits on the one two. And this one's in the dirt. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Ball three. Three and two now. There's Jose Reyes. He waits on deck. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Piscotti has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Seven. Digging in the switch and hitter, Jose Reyes. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Pickoff move to second. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Two and one. Two men are on with two men out. Hit in the air to straightaway center. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. They lead it five to four. You're Rafael Montero please. takes now over to start the, the sixth Mets. inning on the mound. Number 50, Rafael Montero. Here's Johnny Peralta now. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first is Peralta on his way to second. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Tried to put him away on a changeup, but that one was up. Anytime a changeup is up, you recognize it. When it's down, very tough to hit. He just missed his spot. Into the box now, Eric Fryer. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Lays off two and two now. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself for the first out, but it's a productive one as the runner moves up to third. Yadier Molina will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number four, Yadier Molina. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Cespedes has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And even with two outs now, they won't risk running on that arm out there as he's forced to sit ain't. tight at third base. Ready for another chance? Aledmus Diaz. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Two outs here with a runner at third. 
And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Oh, he's clearly hitting off the fastball right there. You don't hit one that hard if you're not looking for it. It swung on and hit in the air. Conforto sprinting after it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mets 5 and the Cardinals 4. Trevor Rosenthal enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 44, Trevor Rosenthal. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Hey, it's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. In now, Joanna Cespedes. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this Michael, inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Ready for another shot now. Michael Conforto. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a line drive but foul. Rosenthal has his sign. He'll try to put him away here on two and two. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Piscotti ranging back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to straight away right field. Eighth home run on the season for him. And it's now six to four. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Into the box, Wilmer Flores. Way outside. One and two. One two pitch is swung on and lifted in the air out to center field. Fowler will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight judging by this bunch. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Two for three with a double on his line so far. He pulls this one into right. Bruce is there one away. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Stepping in now, Matt Carpenter. As he sends it on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Left Here's Randall Gritchick. Randall He's got three Gritchick. hits, including a double to this point. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Way out in front. Ready on one and two. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Two and two count, here it comes. Hot shot down the line. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Here's another two two. And this is fouled at the plate.
And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Hit softly on the ground to third. There to get it is right. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals. The Score remains steady at six to four. Kevin Segrist gets the call from the, the pen Cardinals. to take over on the mound Number and start the home seventh. Kevin Segrist. Here's Lucas Duda now. A hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ball game. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Into the windup, here comes the two two pitch. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. And look out, that's in very tight, and it's ball four. Well, when you go with the slider there on a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Nobody out, runner on first. One, two is an off-speed pitch. No dice, it's two and two. He went with the off-speed there once he got him to 0 and 2, but now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. Ready with another 2-2. And this is going to be a foul ball. Another try at 2-2. In the dirt here. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Runner goes for second. Line to the right side. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. Well, that's why they call baseball a game of inches. Yeah, you're right, Matt. He showed some serious hops, but not serious enough. He goes up high for it with the good leap, but he just can't bring it in, and that allows him to cruise into second with a good piece of hitting. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Takes a knee-high fastball. This is where you got to pitch to the strikeout. Infield's drawn in. You don't want contact. You want to make him swing and miss. Throw the nastiest stuff you have. In the air out to straightaway left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And a relay home. And they'll widen the gap a bit with the sack fly as this is now a three-run lead. Now about it. Juan Ligaris will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. Pitches away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. On to first, and there were two down. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Two and one now to Reyes. The changeup right on the outside corner for a strike. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Diaz picks it up. Throw on to Carpenter, gets him, and that ends the inning. One run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Eighth inning coming up. The Mets lead it 7-4. to four. Fernando Salas has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Fernando Salas.
leading off the inning, Stephen Piscotti, and they'll need him to get something going here. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. On that fastball's too much for him there. 1 and 2. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Third baseman number three, Jed. Ready Jerko. once again, Jed Jerko in his career versus this pitcher. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Here's the 3 0. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Well, they're running out of time. It's the eighth inning. They got to get some runners on and maybe come up with a big home run. But three runs down to the eighth. They got to execute. The outs are a premium. Uh oh, he got the big fella out front on that one. This guy's got a lot of power. So he pulled the string on him, knowing if he got a 3 1 fastball, we're probably going to watch him jog around the bases. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Jack Jerko goes down for out number two in the top half. Digging in once again, Johnny Peralta. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb. They've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Well, there's so many things that came into that. He made an adjustment, choked up on the bat, couldn't quite get that ball Eric in on him, and he's Ryan. strong enough to fight it off and throw it out there for the base hit. I love the adjustment. Digging in to try it again, Eric Fryer. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. And a fastball just a bit high. Here's the 2 1. And this is pop fouled off to the right and back into the seats. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And Bruce will make the catch, and the inning is over. Cards leave one. They're on the short end of a 7 4 score. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Jonathan Broxton will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Greg Garcia is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Now at the plate David Wright head to head history against Jonathan Broxton just a one for nine. He's also gone down on strikes five times. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Cardinals are going to get something going in the bullpen now as a left hander has begun to get loose. Skied into very shallow right. Piscotti is there. He's got it one away. The left fielder number 52. Yoannis. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Cespedes. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Here's the 1-1 one one pitch. Looking at strike 2, a fastball that catches the inside corner. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series and maybe even the whole week ahead. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Center fielder. Striding into the box, Michael Conforto. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. 2 and 1 now. Let's go. One more time, baby. Here we go, Michael. Here we go. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. 
fastball that just misses inside. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3 1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two out base runner here after all. So that's the second walk he's the worked in this one. Four, yeah, and that seems to be a popular approach when this guy steps in. He can really hurt you with one swing, so I think the idea is mostly not to let this one guy beat you, Matt. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Head to head history against Jonathan Broxton. Hitless in three at bats. He's set. Here's the three one. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. All right, 3 2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Here comes the payoff pitch. Soft liner out toward left center, and that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold thanks to first and second the first here. Baseman number 21, Lucas Duda. Into the box now, Lucas Duda. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Two strikes on the hitter and two outs. I like this. You got to get this out here. You don't want them to drive in a run and you go down four. You keep it at three, you still got a chance to break it open and win on a big inning. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Two down, runners at first and second. Swing and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. A little bouncer. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Now a look and a throw back to second. The one and two pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. Diaz ranging into the outfield. And that ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. They hold a seven to four lead. Now beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Hansel Robles comes on from the now pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Ansel Robles. Striding in to start the ninth, Greg Garcia, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Ready on 1 and 2. Grounded back up the middle. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, shortstop. And that'll bring up a Ledmus Diaz. Yes. Looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. One out, nobody on. In there, and it's full three and two. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Payoff pitch one more time. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Matt, I like the last two pitches. A change up and then a fastball. And he's late with the swing on the fastball right there. You got him in between right now, and that's an advantage to the pitcher. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Here's Dexter Fowler now. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. 
lined foul right over the Mets dugout. He's set and the payoff pitch hit in the air to left. Cespedes is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Matt Carpenter. Here's Matt Carpenter. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. A crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch that tied them up in knots, and the ball game is over. Four wins in a row for these guys, and I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves. We'll see how long they can keep this up. Seven to four is the final score in tonight's game. Steven Matz hangs win number 11 on his line. Adam Wainwright was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Hansel Robles earns the save out of the bullpen his first of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more click on over to the shownation.com. Final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right down the right field line that got out of here by 20 feet. He is three for four this evening. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep.